Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and on this episode of Action Awareness, I want to talk about Summon Wolves of the Vampires. For some time, this was one of my favorite actions in Smash Up, which is interesting because it's pretty terrible, and it's not 100% Summon Wolves' fault. Despite its shortcomings, I actually think this is one of the most interesting cards in the game, despite belonging to the vampires, coincidentally, one of the worst factions in Smash Up in my opinion. The vampire theme involves destroying minions to place power counters, as well as light resurrection, and Summon Wolves doesn't really fit in with this theme. Yet the uniqueness of the card shows real potential, and I wish this card could catch a break. So many external factors are working against it. Summon Wolves is played on a base of your choice. At the start of your turn, you will have to place a plus one counter on the action. If you have a minion on this base, you have additional power equal to the amount of power counters. The power doesn't belong to the action, but to the player itself, activated by the presence of a minion. As a proponent of power activation strategies, I really like this action because the power potential is there, but you don't have to let it contribute to power creep. Of course, if an opponent moves your minion to that base, they could activate it, but you still have a great deal of control over the activation. This is the type of action you can play on turn 1 and leave on a base, allowing the counters to accrue over time. But there are problems. This is an incredibly slow moving card in a faction that has no card draw. If you get it in your opening hand, great. Otherwise, how much power will this actually provide? Summon Wolves acts like an action that will provide power on a future turn, and you get to decide when. In theory, this can grow over time and be quite powerful, but Smash Up isn't a particularly long game in terms of turns. I went back and looked at the last 30 games I had recorded, and players averaged just under 8 turns per game. So Summon Wolves could be a free 8 power, or more easily could be a free 4 power, which is in line with cards like Augmentation. The difference is, Augmentation is a terminal action, and Summon Wolves is a setup play, which acts as a free action. However, Summon Wolves sits on a base unprotected during this time, and if anything happens to it, all the equity is lost. You have nothing to show for waiting for that big play. Compare this to Uber Serum, where the minion gets protection from destruction, which is valuable in and of itself, and the minion gets to keep all the counters. Summon Wolves just pales in comparison. Let's also compare it to a comparable card, perhaps its ancestor, Agrimotive. Both cards give the controller power, which is a concept that existed well before Kaiju actions had power. Both require a minion to activate that power. Agrimotive can provide value immediately on the turn it is played for 5 power. Summon Wolves needs 5 turns before it catches up, but also has the potential to eclipse Agrimotive. However, I rarely see this happen. The card is easily disenchanted because it rarely has a chance to do major damage. Maybe the card isn't supposed to do major damage anyway. Summon Wolves would work well if the vampires had burst minions to go along with it, or minions that can move, but they have neither. Any minion that activates it from the vampire side is going to be limited in power. I don't see an obvious pairing with any vampire cards that screams big play with summon wolves. I've often considered doubling the count on the same base so that I can expedite their successful usage. Both cards are slow burns, so why not combine them for maximum effect? But since you need the right destruction cards to go along with the count, you need a pretty amazing card drawer to start the game, and this never happens to me when I play vampires. I've used this card a lot, and there are some interesting nuances to it. There have been times when an opponent has moved my minion over to try to activate the power so that they could eventually break the base with a little extra effort, and I've actually sacrificed that minion with Heavy Drinker to slow them down. Doing this resets the power to zero, but it brings up another problem. The action requires a minion presence to have power. I truly wonder, if the card were created today, would it still require a minion? Today, you only need power on a base if you don't have a minion, which is why the kaiju actions work. 
but Summon Wolves is really hurt by the fact that you need a minion for what seems like historical reasons more than actual balance. Granted, Agrimotive has the same problem, but the Steampunks are completely equipped to activate that power, whereas the Vampires are not. Despite all this, there are reasons I still like the card, even though they are based mostly on potential. I really like when cards give power to the player and not the minion because they come with inherent benefits. There are cards that target the minion with the highest power, but if the controller has the power directly, then the minion might not be within range. As I mentioned before, it's free power if you wait long enough, so maybe instead of waiting for 7 turns, you wait for 3. That's still better than most standard actions that provide power. I also appreciate how recent expansions have unexpectedly breathed new life into this card, making it more relevant than ever. The counters placed on this card are still power counters, unlike those on Timebox. This means that the counters can be moved with expert timing, and Summon Wolves becomes an unexpected battery that serves a greater purpose as long as it isn't disenchanted. What's even more interesting is that the opposite direction also works, transferring the counters to Summon Wolves. Granted, you could just transfer the counters to the minion, but there are reasons to keep a minion small, such as returning it to your hand from an ability or avoiding dangerous cards. The very fact that you can use Summon Wolves in this manner could be very interesting in the future. I would have thought that Purge the Demon would have been given new relevance as well, but I've confirmed that removing the power counters from an action does affect it, so Steam Queen would block it either way. The rules state that a power counter affects the minion it is on, so the abilities that protect minions from effects protect against placing power counters on them, as well as transferring or removing them, and the same applies to actions. Of course, you could just destroy the action with Purge the Demon, rendering the entire question moot, but that's not nearly as fun. As you can see, Summon Wolves is interesting enough to open some nuanced possibilities, but it ultimately falls short in its execution. However, I think it's a step in the right direction, and I'd like to see more experimental cards like this. Requiring the minion really hurts the card, but it also grants Summon Wolves a power activation opportunity and blocks power creep, so I'm torn on the issue. One thing is for certain, I have no idea why vampires have this card, and I'm curious if there is a better fit in another faction. It's the type of ability I'd like to revisit, and hopefully is a prototype for a fully functional card down the road. I'd love to see a version of this card that says, instead of destroying the card, you can remove all the counters, so it can be slowed down, but not necessarily stopped. The vampires could really use the help. For me, this is an intriguing but ultimately weak card, and though I like things that are different, this reinforces my opinion of vampires instead of changing it. What do you think of Summon Wolves? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's shut it down.